Many FX Factory plugins include a built-in motion tracker. In many cases, this added functionality can really elevate the effect. Here are some of my favorite uses of motion trackers in Final Cut Pro 10. Callouts are a perfect use case for motion tracking. Using different graphics to point out and label different parts of your footage can come in handy on all sorts of different types of videos. Ripple Callouts Complete is a great set of professional callout animations. There are 68 presets broken up into eight categories. They're easy to use. Roughly position the text portion of the graphic where you'd like it. Go to the first frame and position the motion tracker rectangle and click Track Forward. Now the entire graphic moves with the tracked footage. You can position the dot while keeping the track. Another great use of motion tracking is what I'd like to call tech messages. Animated texts, tweets, and the like that you can attach to a device with motion tracking. Stupid Raisins Review Pop is a great example of this. It includes a bunch of different online review-styled graphics. Again, easily motion track it, customize it, and you've got a pro graphic that you created in minutes. Another category of effects that's made better with motion tracking are accents, small special effects that add pop to your footage. Stupid Raisin Snap Pop includes 120 animated elements that you can attach to your footage. I like to track them, customize them, duplicate them, and stagger them for a bunch of little pops that move with the subject. Cineflare Vestige is another cool way to accent footage with trackable particle animations. My next favorite use case for motion tracking is selective blurring. Most commonly, we need to blur faces or logos, but this can also be used creatively. Crumple Pop Face Blur is a great effect for this. Simply place the effect, track it, and customize it. No more spending hours hand keyframing blurs. The effect includes pixelate, blur, and black effects. Screen replacement is almost impossible to make realistic without motion tracking. The plugin I like is Crumple Pop Easy Tracker. There are two effects built in, Easy Point Tracker and Easy Planar Tracker. A point tracker tracks points in footage, and a planar tracker is good for tracking a flat plane shape like a screen. Simply position each corner of the planar tracker where you need it, hit track, and you're good to go. This last category is mostly for fun. Let's call it face replacement. Stupid Raisins makes a cool emoji effect called Me Pop, where you can fully customize an emoji, add emotions, and then motion track it to a person's head. Add in a motion track thought or speech bubble to really sell the effect. So those were my favorite uses for motion tracking. Did I miss anything? Be sure to comment below. Also, all the products I mentioned are in the description. And because they're FX Factory, they're all free to try. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects. And if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com. Subscribe to this channel for more great videos every week.